Hi guys, I uh, was planning to use the Arduino to uh, run the strand test of the uh, Adafruit NeoPixel library. Uh, it turns out I made a mistake and I had to use an oscilloscope to try to diagnose the problem. So take a look, this is the addressable lead strip. It has uh, three wires coming out of it. Uh, one ground, one for positive 5 volts and the other for the data. So, uh, just loaded the pr program into the Arduino, and we're just connecting the you know the data input to the appropriate pin of the Arduino. So it's supposed to display just one single uh, red LED once it runs. So that should uh, light up red. Okay, so it's lighting, but it's bright white, so there's something wrong. So uh, in this case, uh, if you're working with devices that use uh, a lot of digital signaling, it's going to be difficult to do this using you know, just a regular multimeter. So you really need an oscilloscope to help you diagnose problems such as this. So now we just uh, put the data input wire onto a breadboard so we can connect the oscilloscope probe to it there you go now you can tell a lot just from your initial viewing of the oscilloscope display so it looks like a valid signal from here so take a look uh, it's supposed to so let's freeze the the, the output of the scope so it looks fine uh, since it's red it's supposed to give uh, eight zero bits eight one bits and then eight zero bits again because the format for this particular lead strip is it's green red and blue so it look it looks fine I mean the, the, the fat uh, square waves there are supposed to be the the ones then followed now by the the blues which are eight zero bits so it looks like there's nothing wrong with the with the waveform itself but there's one thing more to check with this particular type of lead strip you have to make sure the timing is right so we're taking a look at you know the the widths of the of the rises and falls of the signal itself so it looks looks pretty normal okay. so that being said you can't normally see those things without the scope so we now know that it's not a signaling problem and I just realized the problem is I did not connect the ground lines of the Arduino with the ground line of the lead strip a rookie mistake but in this case, I was using a separate power supply to power the lead strip, so that's what happened. And now, just connecting the ground lines together, it's working. So that's the strand test uh, program from the Adafruit NeoPixel library. Now, I'll just connect it to my uh, cylindrical setup uh, with, uh, this has something like 450 addressable LEDs. So... Here you go. Here's to two minutes of watching the strand test. Hey guys, I hope you are successful in your own projects and you know enjoy doing them. Okay, have fun.